Hello there, beautiful people, or oh, welcome back again to On How Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you, so if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop on below in a comment, I would be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back, and please bear witness for that, because I made over 300 videos so far on Shopify customization, they were mostly requested by you guys. And I know some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that, I still make the video for them, so don't hesitate man, if you have any video requests or any questions, so drop me a comment below, I will be happy to provide you information you need, or even make a video for you. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe, or maybe I should consider doing so because if you don't you lose. Now it's very different chapter on the channel. I usually share small customizations but now we'll be sharing complete sections and widgets and this video will give you an idea actually that will transform your Shopify store and make a very unique and professional without having to rely on those expensive teams or hiring those expensive developers or even worse paying for those monthly subscription applications that will drain your money and it's not a very good idea of long term projects. But I'll give you a better deal, scroll down to the channel and check out the videos and sections I'm sharing and I'll let you decide and I respect your decision. But for now, let me fulfill again one of the most most requested videos on this channel which is how to add the free gift widget on the cart page on your Shopify store by using your own custom code and it works on all Shopify teams and it's completely free and yeah you heard that right I was actually I'm gonna put the price on this one because the main reason is some other people will copy the code make, it, make their own videos just like they wrote the code but they, did, they didn't I did. I spent valuable time to build this code and build this widget that you will see in this video. Uh, you will be actually amazed why is it free and available for us. Yes, it is. The only thing I'm asking you is, please hit that like button and leave me a comment below. I do reply to each comment, so I would reply to you as well. And that will motivate me to share more free things with you guys and also make them happy so they can copy more stuff from me. And yeah, everyone will be happy, but I'll let you decide. And without any more talking, let's just get to it. As you can see, this is Shopify down team. I always start with completely new team, nothing on it. In each video I add small customizations, but the video like 70 or 60, the team will be completely different. But now I think I reached that level halfway. For example, check out these scroller logos as you can see with the fade at the corners and you can adjust the fade as well. And also once you hover over it, it stops. Or this split 3D section as you can see. Or even better, check out the recent sales on your Shopify store by using your own custom code. And it's highly customizable. You can pick for who to show up to, first time visitors, zoning visitors, and many, many more options that you don't need. Or actually, you want to see something that will make you more money? Check this out. As you can see, I have five products added to the cart and I didn't check out yet, right? And this is the mouse cursor, right? I will act just like I want to leave or close the page and this thing will show up, which is an abandoned cart pop-up reminder that will remind the user how many products he added to the cart and he didn't check out and by using your own custom code. And it only shows up once the user trying to leave. And I got amazing feedback on this actually. It helped many, many people and I'm really happy about that. But yeah, I know the free gift widget on the cart page and also this widget will show up only when user reached a limit so the user has to reach the amount to unlock the free gift and you will see that so let me close this one and let me actually close this shopify store team sorry is full of stuff it's fully customized so i will do demonstration on the new one which is horizon and as i said this code will work on every shopify Team. No matter whether it's paid or free or custom made, it works on all of them because it uses the Shopify uh, 2.0 architect, which is completely different and it uh, standalone uh, code. So uh, we will do demonstration on Horizon. So let me open up Horizon in a new tab. Then we will get back in here. And the first thing you're going to do is you need to click on three dots or left of customize and click on edit code. But for my case, as I said, I'm going to do it on Horizon. So I'm going to do it in here and then it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. And the next thing we're going to do is on the left panel right here, you will see some folders and click on the first folder that says section, simply click on it to be expanded, then click on the first option, which is add a new section. And it will show you this prompt in the middle of the page in here, so you can name the section and simply name it like a free dash gift dash cart. You can actually name it anything, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you name it something unique that will not create any like conflict with the other file. So click on done and by default we'll create some code in here. Make sure to clear this, remove the whole code in it and in here we need to pass in the code for the free gift widget. And where are you gonna get that code? You need to hire a developer, pay him, wait 24 hours, then test the code, then get back to him. I'm just joking. Scroll down the description box and you will see a link completely free again. As I said, completely free and I spent valuable time to build this. So I would really appreciate if you hit that like button and leave me a comment as well. So simply download a zip file and inside it you will find that liquid file. Open it with any text editor on your computer, copy the whole code inside it, 
than simply pass it in here. That was very simple. That was very simple. All my tutorials are actually like this. The only thing you will need in this channel is copy and paste. So you can do this even if you're like five years old and I'm sure you're not. So now just click on save, wait for a couple of seconds, it's save it. Now we will get back in here and we need to add the section. And no worries, the section will not show up uh, when the cart is empty. What is the point of adding? Uh, as I said, you can even set a limit <laughs> when the user can unlock the free gift or not. So click on customize for the team where you did add it. Then on the top of the page, we need to switch to cart page because we need to add on the cart page. Click on home page, then click on cart page right here and it will open up the cart page and by default on the team editor the cart shows up empty so the widget will not show up but we will see it in here that's why I open it the store in a new tab so the next thing we're going to do is hover with the mouse cursor over the plus button this one and it will show you two options add to header at the template and that's very important do not add it to the header because it will not work it will show up across all your pages it will be on the header basically so add click on add section to template and it will show you this prompt and here is I see it. In case you don't see it, simply use the search bar and search for cart free gift widget. Then click on it and yeah, it will not show up of course. Because why? Because the cart is empty on the team editor. But I will show you that in a moment. So uh, let me actually show you how it looks like so you understand. Let me select a product first. So let me select a product. I added a product so let me get back to Shopify store and let me click on the cart page and here it is. This is how it looks like and of course it's customizable, you can customize all the colors, text, everything. So here is, it shows the product that you can select and you can add the product if you want. So let's just get back in here start with the setting. So the first one is the cart minimum amount. So the user has to reach a certain amount in order to unlock the free gift. If you don't want this option, simply remove this one and type in 10 because this amount is in cents. That's why it shows 10,000. So this 10,000 equals 100. I did add description here so you can understand. 10,000 equals 100 USD. So the user has reached 100 USD in the cart in order to uh, uh, unlock the free gift. So you can adjust this based on your requirements. And below is the product selection, which is the free gift you want to give to product. So if you click on it, I click on replace because I select product to show you. You can select the product you want to give as a gift and make sure to create a new product and sell it as free. I mean, you don't add a price for it and select it from here. Then the next thing we're going to do is display price, this one, which will be crossed as you can see. The price I did add 29 is crossed and it shows free in front of it. And this is very good. So it, it's like a scarcity technique, something like that. Anyway. Just get back in here, type in the amount you want to show. In my case, I'm going to get a bit 29 for demonstration. And this is the main title, which is this one right here. As I said, you can change it, everything. So change the title and subtitle as you like. And also the button, add free gift. And also the message, which when where the user added the product to the car. For example, if I clicked on add gift and I actually selected a product that's already available here where is it added and the product has a price that's why it did add the amount anyway just for demonstration it says gift already added to the cart and even if I reload the page it will keep saying this so you, the user will not actually add the same gift two times or three times no worries I got you so get back in here the next settings is colors I have every color on the widget you can customize and change from here and if you can read you can tell which color is for so you can customize this however you want and this is what people been asking for and here is I got you guys and that's how you add a free gift widget on the cart page on your Shopify store and if you have any questions make sure to drop them below and as I said this did take me time to build so I would really appreciate if you hit that like button and leave me a comment below that would motivate me to share more free things with you guys but for now I think my job is done so thanks for watching catch you on the next one